Okay, so you've seen how the pop-up contact form uh, works with the uh, on the demo video. So now let's see how you would install it on your site. So for this demo, let's, in let's insert a new page for a contact form, and we will call this page demo. Now the first thing you need to do is then go into where your package contents into the code for page folder and you'll see a text file called code to add to page end of body code. So we need to open that in a text editor and we need to copy the text that's in it and we need to paste that into the end of body code for the page. Okay, now you may have already created your page, but we're starting from scratch here. So now you would en en add your uh, block that you want to have your contact form attached to, um, and that could be either a you know, full screen intro or intro with an image or just a small block or whatever, but something with a button on it. So let's use this one. Okay, so now we'll change that button to contact us. Okay, so then you'd play with your image, you'd change your image, change your text and so on and so forth for your page. So we'll assume you've done all of that. So then you go to edit code and unlock the HTML editor. Um, now we need to go down to where we created our button here and we need to add on the end of the div for the button data toggle equals modal and we change the href to the name we're going to give our modal modal form so we'll call it contact modal and we just need to put a hash in front of that. Okay, so now we've done all the changes we need to do to the button. So now we go down to the end of our block, to the end of the section, and we enter, add a new line, and then we go back to those code documents, and you'll see there's one code for pop-up contact form HTML block. So we open that, and we select all of the text in it, copy it and then we paste it after the section okay um, and then you enter your site key where in the in the um, in your pack that will say enter your site key here so you enter the site key over the enter the site key here text that's your Google Recapture 2 site key, not the private key, the site key. Okay, so there we have it. Our form has now been created. We now need to add some CSS for the modal form. So again, you'll see another text document called CSS code to add to the pop-up CSS block. So open that, select all, copy, and then we're going to paste that in the CSS there. So now we've got the CSS added and that's it. So now so you can preview it but you will not see the recapture 2 uh, when you preview it and you will get some funny little messages like JS code there. Uh, but now we know it's working. Now the, the important thing here is in the code, when you named your button a minute ago, we called it, uh, where are we? Oh sorry, when we uh, set the link, we set the link to hash contact modal. Now you must make sure that your modal, which starts here, contact modal, the ID here is the same as the link that you put there without the hash. 
So you put it in here with the hash. Uh, there. The href was hash contact modal. And in here, the ID is contact modal. So you just must make sure those two match, otherwise the link will not work. Okay, so that's that done. Now uh, the next thing you need to do is in your tag you will see a upload files folder and in the mail res folder there's a contact me PHP file. So you need to open that in a text editor. And then you need to enter the three details here. Uh, on the SMTP version, there there will be a few extra fields there to complete. But the secret key for your contact form from Google Recapture goes in there. The email that's going to receive the contacts goes in there, and the email that is going to send the contacts goes in there. And that email must uh, must be uh, an email address. Well, one of the two must be an email address on your domain, otherwise your host may not let us send the mail. Okay, so you just need to enter those three things. Once you've done that, you then go back to the Upload Files folder, and those two folders with that edited file in, you just need to upload to your host um, in the same folder as your pages. So upload them to there. Now the you, you will publish your publish your pages. they've finished publishing. We're publishing to a local folder. Okay, so now we've published them to a local folder here. So the assets folder and your pages, you then upload to your web server. You've already got the two folders that you just uploaded, and then you've got the ones that, went, that we've just published. And this will be obviously be a lot more files in your live site. And once that's finished transferring, you can then go to that page and test. Okay, so now we can test our form, pop-up form. So we click contact us, we have our form. So enter our name, enter our email address. and the message has now been sent. So if we check our emails, we should now have, and there it is, we've received an email, this is a test for message for the Okay, so that's worked. So now if we close that, and if we just reload the page, we can test it without a recapture. Okay, so contact us. And if we don't click recapture, get capture incorrect try again. And now if we click the I'm not a robot and 
and send the message. The message has been sent. So everything is working correctly. So now if we go back to the design and you can play around with the uh, C CSS here to change the size of the modal pop-up and colors, backgrounds and so on. And of course you can add additional uh, code here, um, change the name of the button, uh, sorry, the text on the button and so on, um, and also change the text on the, on the actual pop-up. So you can play with it then and uh, get it to look exactly how you want it. Okay, so that's the installation. Your dream.